Okay, so we're going to be looking at the last proof of Planer graphs, and it basically means or says that if g is planar, then the minimum degree of the vertices has to be or has to be less than or equal to five. So let's start off with the theorem statement. So the theorem statement says if g is planar, then delta is less than or equal to five. And remember that is your minimum degree of your vertices in your graph must be less than or equal to 5. So we're going to prove this indirectly. So we're going to assume that the minimum degree is greater than or greater than or equal to 6. So in other words, we're going to prove again with indirect, we prove not B. So in this case, it means we're going to look at what we're going to assume that this is greater than or equal to 6 because that's everything that is not delta less than or equal to 5. Then we're going to look at just the case where, you know, it's equal to 6. Let's just look at 6. If we can break it at 6, we've pretty much broken it for everything else. So we look at the sum of the degrees of the vertices. Okay, and for i's 1 to n, so this is a graph of order n, and we say we have the sum of the degrees of the vertices will always be greater than or equal to if we sum up as all that all the vertices have the minimum degree. So in other words, if all the vertices had 6. So let's actually just write that out a little bit clearer. So if all vertices have del equal to 6, delta equal to 6, then we have the sum of the degrees of the vertices is equal to 6 plus 6 plus 6 all the way to n times, where n is the order of g. Okay? Now if we look at a graph where the minimum degree is just greater than or equal to 6, then we're going to have a situation where the sum of the degrees of the vertices, again from i equals 1 to n, is going to be less than or equal to the 6n. Sorry, greater than or equal to. Why is it greater than or equal to? Because 6 is the minimum, absolute minimum that all these vertices can be. So then we get that 6n situation occurring. Let's not do that. Okay, so the minimum one is where all of them are equal to 6. But some of them can be 7 or 8 or 9 or something. So when we look at the general case, so say, for example, that is 7, you're going to have that the sum of the degree of bi for anything where the delta is greater than or equal to 6 is going to be greater than or equal to the minimum case where all of them are equal to 6. And that's where we get this line over here. Okay, so then we move on. We also know from our theorems that the sum of the degrees of bi for i is equal to 1 to n is equal to 2 times the size of the graph. So now we have that the sum of i is equal to 1 to n of the degree of vi is greater than or equal to 6n, but we know that the sum of the degrees of vi is equal to 2 times the size of g. So we have that 2 times the size of g is greater than or equal to 6n. Right, so we have that aspect. So what else do we have? We also know that from our planar graphs that the size of G is greater than, well, no, that's a lie, that the size of G is less than or equal to two times or well, three times the order of G minus 6. So we have that. That's from planar graphs. Okay? So currently we have 2 times the size of g is greater than or equal to 6n. So we also then know that the size of g is greater than or equal to 3n by just dividing through by 2. But we also know that the size of g must be less than or equal to 3 times the order of g minus 6, or in more specific terms, that the size of g must be less than or equal to 3n 
minus 6. Or more specifically, because right now you're saying the size of G must be greater than or equal to 3N, but you're also saying the size of G must be less than or equal to 3N minus 6. So right there, you have a contradiction occurring. So you're saying, okay, the size of G must be greater than or equal to 3N, but the size of G must be less than or equal to 3N minus 6. So at the moment, you're saying this must be less than or equal to 3N minus 6, but greater than or equal to 3N. Now, if you look at the number line situation, your 3N minus your 6 is less than or equal to your 3N. That's actually less than, no, big deal kind of situation. So there you have a contradiction. And therefore, you have the filter is less than or equal to 5, and you've proven so let's just go through it again because I didn't do it exactly how the notes did it. So I said here that the theorem, if G is planar, then the delta is less than or equal to 5, and the delta is your minimum degree of your vertices. So we're going to prove it indirectly. So we assume that it is, you know, the delta is greater than or equal to 6. So it starts at 6 onwards. Then we look at the smallest case. So we just assume we look at a graph where all the degree, the minimum, where all the degrees of the vertices is equal to the minimum degree of the vertices. Then we see that the degree of the vertices in that case is equal to 6n. And that means that for any graph where delta is greater than or equal to 6, the sum of the degrees of their vertices has to be greater than or equal to that 6n. Because we looked at that smallest case, and now we're looking at all the different cases. So we're at this point over here. Then we're like, okay, well, we also know that the sum of the degrees of the vertices is equal to 2 times the size of g. So we go and put that in. We say, okay, the sum of the degrees of the vertices is greater than or equal to 6n, but the sum of the degrees of the vertices is equal to 2 times g. So therefore, we know that 2 times the size of g must be greater than or equal to 6n, according to, you know, what we've just written there, which means the size of g must be greater than or equal to 3n. So that's just going through the maths of that. Taking that formula, substitute in the 2 times the size of g, and then making the size of g the sum of the form, subject of the formula. But we also know from planar graphs that the size of g must be less than or equal to 3 times the order of g minus 6, which is, this case, is 3n minus 6. And then we see that there's a contradiction, because we're saying that the size of g must be greater than or equal to 3n, but it must be also less than or equal to 3n minus 6. So we have a contradiction that occurs, and therefore our delta must be less than or equal to 5. And we're done.